Ladies and gentlemen, greetings, welcome back and good day to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. It has indeed once again been quite some time ever since I did one of these. However, this game is just so very amazing, I will always eventually come back to it, because I want to destroy my mother over and over again. No fancy intro this time, in fact The Binding of Isaac, my Let's Play at least, did not have a fancy intro at all thus far, but I'm simply gonna let it stay like this because I hate to interrupt a certain kind of flow. If you, for example, start a project without intros and then suddenly add them halfway through, yeah, it might be sorta of neat, but it feels incomplete. If I have intros, I want them to be there from the very beginning, just like with Cry of Fear or Legend of Grimrock. In any case, The Binding of Isaac, let us continue. Oh my god, I can't even remember what happened when I last played this game, it's been way too long. The last episode was recorded like when? I think at the beginning of the new year, darn. Well, <laughs> now it's 2012 and Isaac's mother is once again out to get him, she must be destroyed. I do remember, however, that I unlocked this little guy here, Judas. He starts with lots of attack power, little to no health, but a item or an item called the Book of Belial. One of the disciples of Jesus Christ, one of the guys who betrayed him. How could this guy possibly turn out to be? Well, there's only one way to find out. I will go with this character this time around, because hey, why not test everyone out? Still haven't unlocked that Eve character though, who knows, maybe this time we will finally be able to. Well then Judas, it is time to throw you into the dark abyss, prove that you are worthy! So here we are, once again in the basement part 1, and I really enjoy that Judas is wearing that fancy little red hat. Didn't Isaac or no, Cain was it, right? Yes indeed, Cain found it within the special gigantic chest after we beat mom's heart for the very first time. Oh, I got a pill right off the bat. Tears up! Alright, what does this mean again? I think increased attack speed. Can't really complain, in fact I do not have the right to complain about anything in my kind of state right now. Judas is so very helpless. However, I do remember the basic facts about this game. <laughs> Should I fight the boss right away? Nah, oh my god. Hello there, Lust! I don't know why I didn't see this one coming, but oh well. One of the seven deadly sins, this is going to be an epic battle that shall never end. Oh, forget that I said anything, and she rewarded us with a item, a passive item as far as I remember, one of the countless syringes. Let's see what this one does again. Oh, this is never good. Do not shoot up, Judas, do not become like Simon, it is a bad idea. Ah well. The virus, poison touch, yes indeed, for if you have, you know, intercourse with somebody known as lust, chances are it will not end well for you. Oh, poor boy. The adventure has only just begun and he's already infected with AIDS and etc. Oh well, looks like we are fighting Larry Jr. once again. Oh yes indeed, and oh, a champion version as well. Larry, you and me, we have such a long history together, don't we? Let's use the Book of Belial and oh my. I certainly enjoy Judas' eyes right now. Oh, I'm so evil and darn. <laughs> oh my god, I'm almost dead. Yeah, this is a great start to this new Let's Play The Binding of Isaac episode, but I can I can do it. I can handle myself quite well. As you can see, the Book of Belial, I believe, increases Judas' attack power, plus the poison touch almost freaking annihilated that one Larry Jr. when he dared to approach me. Come on now, Larry. Let's try not to get hit by the projectiles. Certainly a kind of bothersome room layout. I do prefer when there are no rocks at all. But you can't have everything in life. Huh, first reward of the day? Well, not the first, but you get the idea. Lunch. Health up? Oh my, that is certainly something I need a lot if I want to survive with this character in particular. Judas, what have you done to deserve this? Well, in fact, you've done quite a lot to deserve this. Honestly, betraying the Lord Jesus Christ, even though I myself do not believe in any kind of God. Huh, maybe the item room has a reward for you in store. Ooh, bad item. Is this the doctor's remote or the teleport? Ooh, the doctor's remote. Well, it's not really better than the Book of Belial. I mean, sure, you can drop a bomb, which is quite delightful to look at, but the Book of Belial increases... Uh, I want to call him Isaac all the time, but it's Judas, darn it. The Book of Belial increases your attack power for one room. And I think always using that is a lot more helpful than just dropping a bomb. Oh, some more bombs. Come to speak of bombs, here are some more bombs. And another pill. Well, so far this floor is quite generous when it comes to the item loadout. 
Uh, I'm feeling afraid though. What about this pill? What if it blows me up? What if it poisons me or turns me into a retard again? Ah! Bad trip. Oh, thank you so very much. That is my most favorite pill of them all. I Seriously, I went into this day thinking all I really need to make it complete is a bad trip pill. You know, poison my inner system. Let's search for the secret room real quick. Nothing there. That's quite a shame. No keys. I'd really like to take a look at the shop though. Blah. Well, no shop on this floor. Time to descent. Well, I'd say so far things aren't going too bad. I might be a little bit cocky though. Yes, I admit to that. Uh, just an ordinary chest in the... what did I call those rooms again? The arena, I believe. Oh, so many coins! And the blue tinted rock, but no bombs! Why did I waste that one? Oh my. So, what the hell can I talk about? Jesus, this is awkward. I haven't played The Binding of Isaac in such a long time. I need to come up with, ma with material. And, ooh, golden chest has lots of lovely goodies in... Well, store, but I think I'm repeating myself here. But uh, if only we had a key. If only. Where's the delightful skeleton key that I used to have in the past that unlocked all of my problems? And is that another blue tinted rock there? Yes, I think it most certainly is. A kingdom for bombs! Come on now, please. I really wouldn't mind. Oh, are you kidding me? I need that key. And of course, it lands right in the stone circle. There's another blue tinted rock. Oh, luck is certainly not on my side today. Not only do we have a character that has little to no health, but we can also not gain any additional. Wheel of Fortune tarot card. Uh, I think that summons a slot machine? Not too sure, but then again, I wouldn't want to waste all of my hardly earned money. Gish, you're an enemy we rarely encounter anymore. You have your own game, buddy. Why are you so shy? Well, maybe because somebody is killing you as soon as you appear. I guess that would make sense. In any case, not fighting the boss just yet, not without visiting the... Fuck me. Item room, I wanted to say, but of course, without a key, that's going to be straight out impossible. Uh, let's take care of these, like, stalkers here. These blind stalkers. That's certainly a delightful name for these fellas. Come on now, we don't have all day, you gushing freaks. Mother is waiting to get slaughtered once again, and ha. Huh? Judgment! I really do not know if I want to feed him all of my money. Nope, I'd say that the slot machine is a little bit more viable right now. Come to think of it though, Judgment could have given us an item. The slot machine can... Well, it can give us keys and bombs. I guess that's one of the reasons I had in mind. Yes! A key. Awesome. Luck is on my side still. I cannot believe it. But I'm not done yet. Screw the shop. Just spend all of my money on the slot machine. I don't care. Give me a loot, you bloody piece of equipment. A bloody piece of... I don't even know. A fly? How did that get in there? Oh, slot machine, you and me have a history together. A history of gambling. Whenever I see you, I just can't look away. If only there was a dollar bill. Nope. Sadly not. Come on. Oh, God. What? What's wrong with you? I thought you were my friend. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Come on now. Ooh, that is the uh, spelunking helmet. It allows us to, I think, uh, discover secret rooms more easily. Oh, yes indeed. As you can see here, but of course without a bomb, we will have no access to this secret room. I'm feeling so sad inside right now. I have this feeling in the side of my gut that this Judas run could turn out to be extremely successful. However, without resources, chances are I'm going to die a lot very soon hopefully not as early as in the last episode i remember that much i went all happy into that one with kane being like yes today i'm gonna conquer mom's heart also should i yes ah there's a bomb it was worth it i don't care if i get slaughtered by flies now it was flipping worth it a bomb you can do so many things with a bomb you know one at all you can destroy walls you can open up doors you can um, earn money, you can splatter enemies' brains all across the walls and the floors. It is certainly a delightful toy to have. Jesus, get away from me. What's wrong with you guys? You're blind. How the hell do you know I'm there? Well, I guess there's this... I, I don't know. I think there's this, like, human body part called the ear. Yes, maybe they used that to hear me. Who would have thought? Ooh, it was definitely worth to get that bomb out of the arena. Another bomb plus lots of coinage. Now then, huh, should I... Should I use... Yeah, that's tempting down there. Should I? Hmm. Yeah, why the hell not? It's a key. And two phantom hearts. Awesome. By the way, I looked up on the wiki a little bit, and the official name for these blue hearts is apparently spirit hearts. 
I feel that name in other Let's Plays quite a few times. <laughs> Two nickels, I am rich, I am rich, now the shop is gonna be mine. Got a key as well, everything is going splendid, oh yeah, horrible singing. <coughs> in any case, uh, should I fight the boss yet, or... Ah, yeah, why the hell not, better now than never. Never say never, famine, that's a horrible sound. A horrible song, I mean, and because I just made that terrible reference, I'm gonna assume that this guy is Justin Bieber, and therefore he needs to die, he needs to be eliminated. Huh, oh, Joe, oh, that was a close one. Can't say that I respect Famine too much, I mean, he is one of the four horsemen, alright? But not all that difficult. I mean, look at him, even though he just hit me. Screw you. Cube of meat, ah yes, more memories return. The cube of meat slowly allows us to have our own personal meat boy. That's delightful. Satan, my friend, we haven't seen each other in a long time. What do you have to offer? This cat down there and something. I don't remember what any of these items do. And quite frankly, judging that I have such little health available at my disposal, I'd rather not make a deal with the devil, thank you very much. Moving down. Welcome back to the caves, and so far things are going quite swimmingly. Help me! Oh, these guys, I'll always despise them with a passion, I just don't know. Any kind of enemy really that hides itself away and only, you know, only shows its weak spot while it attacks is annoying in my book. You freaking like, what did I call you guys in the past? I think like Skorgle Spires, why Skorgle? I have no idea, I think the sk sk was meant to represent the skull. Orgle? Like, I have no idea. My brain is all the way in the gutter. All the way in. Hello there, you spaggots. Haven't seen you guys in a while as well. This is like a big family reunion between Isaac, uh, aka Judas, and his lovely, lovely, lovely family. How did that not hit me? This strength card increases our attack power for one room. And also there's a loot in the draw cup here. Aha! Oh! Well, what do you know? We've ran across these small rock damage up. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's always delightful when you have a character that already has lots of damage to begin with. Hmm, what does this do again? And then you increase his attack power even more, all the way into oblivion. Boom. What does this item do? Oh yeah, it gave us 10 bombs and I think that's it. Hmm, not really the best item in the world, but hey, it's not, it's not bad. It's not all that good, but it's also not all that bad. Therefore, let us just proceed. More of these spires, I do not fear you guys, and then get hit by a freaking insignificant small little fly that dies in one hit. Such an embarrassment, such a disgrace, but I can pull through, Judas can pull through, and those free cents there are certainly tempting. We have fucking 11 bombs at our disposal, let's just use them. Coinage here, coinage there, gluttony is everywhere. Did not expect this boss, but he's not gonna be a challenge at all. Oh no, why am I singing Spider-Man? Maybe because the song is stuck inside my head. And he drops lots of hearts. Not really what I did expect. What about an item? Fuck you, gluttony. Another horrible song brought to you by your humble host, the Shadow Cookie. In any case, as I said already, things are going about swimmingly. We are about a quarter of an hour into this episode. Caves part one could go a little faster, but then again, I am certainly no northern lion. I'm not an expert at this game, I don't have like a hundred hours in. What am I saying, just a hundred hours? That guy has god knows how many hours in. He has over 100 parts of this game uploaded on his channel, which is bloody amazing. I'll do my best to entertain my humble little group of audience people though. And therefore, let me just spend an eternity at the slot machine. Or blow it to kingdom come. Ah, money. We got to have money. It is the most important thing in this world. Without money, nobody survives anymore. Oh, such a sad fact indeed. Ah! Oh, I'm still being a little too cocky. And oh my god, this is a horrible room layout. Close one indeed. Oh, Judas, your look right now. It represents how I'm feeling inside. The fool teleports us back to the beginning of a map, I believe. Hm, gonna save that up. Next, loot in the drug, be mine. Two more, should I really call them? Ah! All right, I'm gonna collect them. I'm gonna definitely collect them. Help, there we go. Just made my life last a little bit longer there. <clears throat> 
I wonder if I should still call these hearts Phantom Hearts. I mean, their official name is Spirit Hearts. Do I want to be official? Or do I want to be all random, using my own made-up names? I guess I can go with Phantom a little bit longer, because, you know, why the hell not? There's another key, and we have so much money, let's check out the shop. Oh, thankfully no greed. The Steam Sale? Certainly a lovely item to have, however, should I? Yeah, why the hell not? Chances are that Greed will not always appear and drop this thing to begin with, so... This is gonna make our life a lot easier, especially if you gain the opportunity to pick up the Steam Sale so early on into a playthrough of The Binding of Isaac. Ah, this is not a card I want. Jesus. There we go. Strength. Anything else over here? Oh my god. Book of Belial. Fuel my veins with the powers of the devil. Oh wait, look. Belial is the Lord of Lies, I believe, right? Or was it the Lord of Sin? One of the two? No, wait. Uh, Lies. Yes, I think Belial was the Lord of Lies. I am actually 100% certain that he is. And why? Because I have no idea whatsoever. But Belial appears in so many freaking video games, in so many different forms, with so many different origins, yet he is always a liar. Son of a bitch. Why did I say that? Why did I add that lovely little insult? <gasps> Catch your breath here, see? So... I can't say that Judas is a bad character. To be honest, I haven't played The Binding of Isaac in such a long time, I can't judge about the characters at all. I cannot compare them. Isaac is basically the generous, not generous, but the general character. And saying it like that is probably wrong. Uh, I need to get my mind out of the gutter, really. Judgment, come with me as I fight the boss, whoever it is. Oh, versus Peep, I hate this freaking thing. But I shall just- Ooh, it's a champion version. Glowing yellow. This could either be a bad or a positive thing. Oh, I hate that attack as well. In fact, I hate everything about Peep. So what's the guy doing? What's so different about him today? Ah, oh, he still has that annoying jumping attack. I despise it with a passion. I think... Peep, no! Careful, TSC. You do not die to this thing. Ah! Normally I think P is not just leaving behind such a gigantic trail of urine on the floor. I swear to god, I will rip out your heart and shove it down your throat. Or no, in fact I will rip out your heart and shove it down one of your empty eye sockets, you piece of shit. Ah! You will not bring me down. I swear to god I will have my revenge, you son of a bitch. Did I, did I even ever kill you? Well now is the time! Ooh. Lil Chubby has been unlocked. Well, that's interesting. Lil Chubby, like a baby version of Chubb. We defeated Peep! I think this is actually the first time ever that I defeated Peep while playing The Binding of Isaac. If that's so, then achievement unlocked. Vengeance. And how did I just clap my hands while moving about? Believe me, you do not want to know. In fact, it wasn't anything special. And therefore, I just died by falling down a huge pit. In any case, Caves Part 2, Judas. As a character with the increased strength right off the bat, he is certainly a good um, damage dealer. I guess that's kind of obvious. Stating random obvious facts, but you know, being able to deal lots of damage right from the get-go is quite preferable. I mean, you have several... S what the hell? A box in a box. Are you shitting me? Well, I guess... I guess I'm just gonna take the new one then? Okay, not gonna question it. In any case, you have of course all these stats from the very get-go, like speed, movement speed, firing speed, attack power, health and all. Which are the most important stats to go with though? Which should you try to, well, update or increase as soon as possible? Money! Well, speed is quite a lovely thing to have, but... In my opinion, I'd say that uh, strength is definitely the most important attribute to have. <laughs> Attributes, skills, I don't know what to call them. I can never decide on a name. But oh my god, they trapped me! Jesus, help me! No, I'm not gonna die here. I am too young to die. I am one of the disciples of Jesus and I need to slaughter my mom. For whatever reason. Because my friend Isaac told me to, you know. Ah! I hate these spires so very much. In fact, I hate everything about this game. Just like freaking Kafka Palazzo! I hate those things! I hate them, hate them, hate them! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. And that was a freaking terrible Kafka love. Let's see. 8 bit sound effects! Woo -woo 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 -woo. That was even more horrible. I apologize for that. D lovers. Oh my, I want to use that right away. More health for the precious little Judas guy. God, look at my health. The cave's part 2 already, but only 3 hearts in total. Things are going. not as smoothly as I would wish them to go. Also, these blood flies can be quite a problem. Help. Careful. 
watch out for when you blow them up. If you do not want to die, be strategic about this room. Ah! No! Ah! Help me! Ah! Jesus, why am I being so cocky? Come on now. Judas, show me what you're made of. Show me what you can do. Show me that you can annihilate our enemies. And the shop. Please don't let that be a greed! You son of a bitch! I swear to God, you knew this would happen. You were waiting for me all this time. I hate this fucking bastard. Yes, again. Ah! I hate him. I hate everything. And don't you dare steal my money. Don't you dare steal my health either. Die! Whoa. Holy shit, look at all these coins. It was definitely worth killing this guy. Well, yes, of course, because otherwise he would have killed me, and then we would have needed to start all over again, which would have been quite tiresome and troublesome and annoying and I should have know. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you do not play this game for such a long time, then you certainly start to get rusty. I mean, right now, I, I wouldn't say that I'm doing bad, but I'm also not doing all that well. 20 minutes into this Let's Play episode, <clears throat> and we could be in the depths already. Ah, I am not a speedrunner, of course, but The Binding of Isaac is certainly a game that is a little bit more enjoyable if you try to play through it fast. That, and it saves me the editing work, trouble, whatever. <clears throat> so, what can I say about all the characters I've played as so far? Well, Isaac is of course the most normal of the characters. He starts with overall average stats, nothing you can complain about. Then you have Maggie, <clears throat> which is basically the cheapest of the characters so far, because she has so much health available right from the very get-go. Kane? Kane is more like a gamble, because he doesn't have all that much health, but he has the ability to find rare items with his luck foot. I guess with Kane you could say, uh, you can either have an <clears throat> incredibly bad or an incredibly good one, depending on which items you find. Last but not least, Judas here, and I'm gonna unlock this just for sure, another nickel, great. Should I fight the boss yet? Nah. I wanna see what the shop has in store, you know, since fucking greed ruined the last one. Oh my god, bomb flies! Hit the deck, it's gonna blow! Thankfully not up right in my face. Once again I am able to pull through, and the chest is a reward, bombs and keys. Not doing all that well on the key department, but in terms of oh dear bombs, and there's an arcade. You all know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. We'll spend the next, I don't know, 10 minutes or so down here. First of all, though. Mm, or? No, don't let the greed possess you, TSC. Check out the item room first. Ah. I'm a firing my laser. Not today, because this item is fucking terrible. Or at least it is not nearly as good as the Book of Belial. I'm gonna stick with my belief into the devil. Thank you very much. Now then. Oh, the arcade. You and me, we have an even longer history than me and Larry Jr. What the hell is wrong with you? Take my money! Look at my fucking over 30 cents! I do not want this money! It's not worth it, man. It's totally not worth it. I need to spend it all. I mean, what the hell am- Really? Slot machine! I am grateful for those items, but you just blew up in my face! Why? I was not even getting started yet. I wanted to give you all of my money. Now this guy is giving me money, but I cannot spend it. Ooh. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, dinner. Well, health up. That's nice. But how did I get that? Did I just win it here with this guy? I didn't even pay all that much attention. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Obviously, I'm gonna fall in love with you now, for the slot mission has betrayed me. I bet the fucking thing slept with the... Uh, wait, wait, why am I talking about the blood machine? Wait, blood machine, slot machine... Welcome to the mindfuck! In any case, I bet the fucking slot machine had an affair with the blood machine. Also, sorry my lover, but I'm like, you know, I'm like a black widow. A male black widow. I basically blow my loved ones to smithereens once I do no longer feel like loving them. Yeah, this is taking an incredibly awkward step into an incredibly awkward direction. In any case, another nickel. 40 cents. Wow. Now it is time to check out the shop. Oh yeah. And uh, well, to be honest... Wait, didn't I? Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna fight the bo- What the fuck is that? The Fallen with an inverted cross. Oh my god. What the hell is this thing? It's the devil! Oh my god, I need to scream. It's the fucking devil. Oh my god, these attacks are just like Krampus. In fact, this fucking thing looks exactly like Krampus, just with a different hat. Oh my god. Ah! Yes, indeed, it has all the fucking attacks. It shoots blood rays. It's the... What the hell? What? They multiply? 
This is not fair. Judas, you better put that attack card to some good use. Oh my god, I, I hate that you encounter bosses I've never met before. Ah, I have no strategy for this. Just shoot away. Shoot away and run. I guess I should say that speed is a nice trait to have after all, and not just strength and health. Kill it. Kill it, Judas. It's dangerous. It's evil. Ah! Phew. Oh my, excuse my image of screaming there, but damn, I wasn't prepared for that situation. The Fallen, a black demon, straight from hell. Oh, it's the fucking devil, I tell you. It was definitely more terrifying than Krampus. And thanks for the Ouija board. It's really a amazing item. I am so very grateful. Ah. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm so confused right now, that just scarred me for life. And also, Judas, don't you stare at me like that. By the way, I think there's a reason why I didn't go to that shop upstairs. Wasn't it the shop that had greed inside? Or did I just skip a shop by accident? Oh my, dude. I, I'm so tripping right now. That fucking The Fallen fight completely destroyed my sanity there. Yeah, I'm... If you could see my face right now. If I had like a face cam, then my face would look exactly the same as Judas's right now. I don't even care about these Leapers, my most hated enemy of all time. I don't care about them. They are not nearly as bad as the Leapers in Dead Space. I can handle them. Okay, okay, get your mind out of the gutter, TSC, for real this time. I'm not gonna say it again. Take care of these... What did I call these guys? Brainiacs. Take care of the Brainiacs. Ah! Uh, do not run into the enemy by chance if that's at all possible, you know, because it hurts, even though it doesn't make any sense. Ah, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac where nothing ever makes sense. Welcome to The Depths Part 1. It's certainly a delight to be here. However, I do not know if I will be able to destroy mom with such a low amount of health. Also, these leapers are not making things easy. Maybe I should respect them after all. Get away from me, you jerk! <sighs> At least I have lots of bombs. And this belonging helmet is definitely making things easier. Oh, now I remember. That is why I didn't check up, uh, I mean, check out <clears throat> the shop. Or did I? No, but there was a question mark on the map, and I thought it was a shop, but no, it was just this belonging helmet, I think, showing me the secret room. Oh dear, chocolate milk? Really? I remember this item oh too well. It helped me to destroy mom. It is one of the most amazing fucking Ouija tears going through the flames. What the hell is going on? This is one of the most amazing items to have, and I love chocolate milk, therefore... <laughs> you might say that this makes the game a little bit too easy, and that I shouldn't use chocolate milk all the time, but hey, it's only the second time I ever found this item, therefore, come on, cut me a break, look at that ginormous orb of death, just slowly traveling across the screen, waiting to impact with something. Oh, I just gained a lot of confidence. I don't think that mom is going to be a problem whatsoever. Of course, eh. Of course, such a gigantic orb is useless against countless tiny little enemies. But that's what you have rapid fire for. Isn't that right? Moving on. Uh, oh god. Such a low amount of health. More Brainiacs, even a champion version. That's a lovely uh, pink-reddish color you have there, sir. And you leapers. Why? What have I ever done to you? Why do you need to jump right into my very face and why does it hurt so bad? Never mind, calm down TSC, you can do this. Uh, take care of these ooze zombie guys. Well, oh boy, <clears throat> my throat is getting so very dry right now. I really need to focus, I need to concentrate. Whenever I reach the depths and let's play the Binding of Isaac, it feels like my whole body is getting so very exhausted. Yes, indeed, it's a video game and it's exhausting me to no end. <sighs> In any case, my favorite phrase of all time! Fast ooze zombies! I hate them. Get away from me. Freaking jerks. Pedophiles! I have my rights! And you do not have a right to touch me! Get the fuck away from me! Or else my ginormous tears of oblivion, doom, death, limbo, purgatory and hell will tear you apart into tiny little pieces of blood particles and intestines and... <laughs> Calm down. It's just a video game. It's just that. A video game and nothing more. So, what's going on, one and all? The woods are still just running out of my freaking mouth like water down the Niagara Falls. 
but I do not care for that is a TSC trademark even if it is just lots of random garbage that is not related to the game in any way. Just me screaming oh my god what is this I don't even. So many brainiacs down here. Looks like they've made the devs into their new home. Well I definitely prefer these guys over the leapers. Fuck the leapers. So, what am I thinking about my current item loadout? Could be better. Once again, yes, it can always be better. Quite a silly thing to say, really, but spinal cord, guys. Do not approach me. I have insurance. Does that even make any sense? But I definitely <coughs> wish for an item that is a little bit better than the Book of Belial. I mean, increased strength for one room is certainly a pleasure, but at least a battery would be neat in combination with the book, you know? faster recharge or hell why can't you give me I don't know the laser tears those were amazing <coughs> then again chocolate milk is not too shabby either and my throat is really starting to die now it's like the closer I get to mom's womb the more my body is deteriorating the more everything is melting the skin all of my bones I'm nothing more than a poor skeleton trying to survive trying to win this desperate struggle for <coughs> humanity Humanity as in what I own, not what we are all part of. Yes indeed, my humanity. I want to keep it. And Larry Jr. Feels like a non-let's play episode of mine is complete without you making a cameo. Every so often. Just why, Larry? Will you never learn? Look, you were a champion version. A lovely blue tinted champion version and yet you still did not stand a chance. These guys, however, are just fucking persistent in an annoying kind of way. I respect Larry, I mean, his fight is basically a desperate struggle of hopelessness. But he at least tries. Oh by god, does he try? Well, I am trying too. I am trying to survive and therefore shall purchase this ladder. Could have taken the key as well, really. Who do we have here? You little red shit! Man, that was an introduction. Loki! I haven't seen you in a long time! The last time we met, the first time we ever met, you killed me and ended my Let's Play run! This time, however, I shall be the winner! Look, half of your fucking health is already gone! Be destroyed, you little pathetic, worthless creature, and go back into the darkness you came from! Die! Ah! Loki's horns appeared in the basement. Oh yes. Oh yes. More revenge, ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe this. <clears throat> I'm on a roll today. First begin revenge on freaking Peep, now on freaking Loki. Is there anyone else I still remember? Ooh, secret room right off the bat. Devs part two. The time has come to face mom. And we are doing quite well, <clears throat> time-wise. I mean, half an hour into the episode. Already the devs part two. No idea how long the womb's gonna take me if I even get there, but still, quite nice. I am definitely improving when it comes to duration of my videos. <clears throat> and Jesus Christ, my throat. I swear to God, one day, one day when I end my final episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, it's just gonna collapse, crumble into dust, and disappear forever. My beautiful voice is gone. I didn't even know that it was oh so beautiful, but kept telling it to myself. What the hell am I talking about? Welcome to the arena of the depths, and we are being confronted with gluttons. Not a big problem at all. Oh, the leapers! Where's a unicorn horn when you need it? Or a game kit, I think that item has the same effect. But come on, I can do this. I have lots of health, and I have the Book of Belial on my side. The Lord of Lies is gonna destroy all of you. You do not stand a chance. Fear my red tears of justice, or in this case, red tears of corruption, evil, doom, oblivion, and all the words I always repeat again and again and again. That was an arcade, followed by Chup. Jesus Christ, this commentary is going nowhere. Well, Chup, we're just gonna feed you some bombs here. Or should I actually? Looks like the tears are taking care of you rather nicely. Well, here, have one. <clears throat> because I'm such an incredibly nice guy. Feeding time's over. Now to slaughter your kids. Such an evil thing to say. Oh well, let's just move on here. Mom is waiting. Oh yes, she is definitely a very impatient individual. Especially since even after killing her, the heart still doesn't stop to beat. And what the hell is wrong with me? I may have bought the ladder to increase my chances of survivability. Yet I am still sucking so very much. The lovers. 
Gonna complain about that card. Yep. Give it a bit of a. Back to full strength. Moving on. Ah, <coughs> uh, the arcade. Why? Why do I always stumble about you when I want to have a quick run of Let's Play the Binding of Isaac? Why do we always meet? Why do you always tempt me with your lovely slot machine, your shuffle guy, your blood machine, all of you? I see you as my closest friends down in this hell, for you equip me with items. Lots of lovely items, special items, bombs, keys, as long as I provide the money, that is. And since I have almost 50 cents, I'm never gonna leave again. Don't you wanna come to the arcade in the depths? It's gonna be so much fun. As long as you bring the money, then the party can start with skulls and blood machines and slots. You can come if you want to, but you can never leave. Unless you blow everything up with a bomb. Blow them up with a bomb, yeah! Oh my god. Such childish attitude. Oh my god. Health down! Is that my reward for fucking screaming, for screwing up my words and then screaming to overshadow the fact that I screw up my words and then... Blar. I guess that is not really a good idea. Ah! You betrayed me, slot machine. Again. I guess it's really not a good idea to just try to make a random The Binding of Isaac video out of nowhere. Out of the freaking blue, because you don't know what to talk about at all. I'm just enjoying this playthrough. And while I am enjoying this playthrough, I guess I could be informative, but then again, why the hell should I? There are lots of informative people on YouTube. I could be, of course. But that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about immersion. Not with this game, that is. But most of the time, it's about immersion, storytelling, and etc. With this game, though, I'm just enjoying a playthrough, and I hope that other people will enjoy it as well. Simple as that. What do we have? Yeah. The best item of all time. I always wanted to wear my mom's panties. It's a delightful thing to do, really. Oh, Judas. Can't really say what I want to think about your look right now. The red skin tone definitely fits the panties you just picked up, but... No idea. I guess you could look a little bit more intimidating. Slot machine. There are so many of you down here. I so don't fucking care. You cheated on me. Die. Bloody piece of freaking junk stuff. <clears throat> now then, I said we are about done here in the depths part two, almost 40 minutes into the video. The time is coming. The time to once again face mom. Oh, you freaking leapers. You're just everywhere. It's a fucking infestation. Get away from me. Jerks. Ah, critics. Heretics. Blasphemists. Shouting random words hoping that people will laugh at them doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Would you please die? There we go. Of course, I'm gonna spend the bomb to get this nickel. Damn, so much cash. I want the shop for crying out loud. How oh, is it even possible that you can extend your spinal cords like this? It's not possible. It doesn't make any sense. Why am I questioning the logic of a game known as The Binding of Isaac where you can turn into a tear shooting machine? A tear shooting machine with tears that can tear up hostile creatures. Yes, once again. Yeah! Well, that was interesting. Uh, I planned that, by the way. Uh, running into the middle, getting surrounded, and just letting them all get killed by my poison touch. Also, thank you, teleport pills. I was hoping that you would bring me to a different location. Not over here, but oh well. I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna walk. Every walk makes you a little bit more fit than before. But I certainly need to lose some weight. Because look at you, look at that gigantic face. He's such a chubby fellow. Now then, there's the shop at long, long last. Better not be a greed in there. <laughs> that would just be silly. The chariot is like, um, unicorn horn. Awesome. Thank the lord. And you know what? All these items, tarot cards, keys, hearts, battery, map. I have so much money. I'm just gonna take all of them with me. For they are gonna provide me with lots and lots of assistance down in the womb. Oh yes, the moon. I love the moon. I don't know what it does anymore, but I love the moon. Well, I think to remember that it was one of the best available tarot cards. Ah. So the moon teleports you into the secret room. Well, that was a fucking waste of time. In fact, it was wasted altogether. Could have used that down in the womb. Never, ever mind. Oh, Jesus Christ, the Binding of Isaac. 
Uh, let me gather my thoughts for a second as I travel towards the boss room, I presume. What kind of direction do I want to take this let's play into is the big question. Slot machine! Well, you could be one of the last slot machines I'll ever encounter, therefore, let's just waste some money. Tears up! Slot machine, you are my friend. You have not betrayed me. You shall become my new... Um... What kind of gender are you, anyway? You shall become my new something friend, alright? You're gonna be the greatest team of them all. I shall provide you with money, because you're such a cheap whore, you. And you are going to provide me with lots of pleasure in the form of items and even more money. It makes sense. So much sense. Well, I'd say I'm just gonna let's play this game until I've seen everything. No! Sword machine! Oh, thank god, a pill. Ah, tears up, pill. Alright, you can go fucking die. I'm just grateful that you provided me with a little bit more entertainment. Yes, we had such a sweet night together. Raph, you would have come in handy quite a while ago when I was in desperate need of bombs. Now you're just an obstacle in my way that can't be taken seriously. Could you please die? Come on now. Be a pal. There you go. You see? You see? That lovely item, Mr. Boom, space to use, I think it creates an explosion that hurts the character, but well, it is still an explosion. Can be used to discover rooms, to blow up stuff, to fucking give me my book too. It's a, a half and half item, I'd say. In any case, time to fight mom, and I'm curious to see as to how this fight will turn out, because I am so overpowered. Mother, once again I have come for you, and I don't think we need any long introductions. I am your son, you are my mom, there's a blue tinted rock, chariot activate. Destroy the minions, blow up them rocks, kill the mothers. Those are my official instructions when it comes to this journey. Oh, that explosion hit? Mother, what's wrong with you? I thought that you were a powerful opponent, yet you are just succumbing to my tears as if they were made out of I don't know. Whoa. Well, I, I'd, I'd say that even Larry Jr. was a bigger challenge than Mom this time around. Larry actually managed to outstrengthen, if that is a real word, Mom. Larry, you finally accomplished something. No, in fact, you just suck. You suck like all the other bosses. We've destroyed Mom. Or, well, at least the corporeal form of her. Actually, we are still about to fight the second corporeal form, so... Does it make any sense what I'm talking about? Not really. But here we are, the womb part one. This should provide me with some inspiration. The most famous of areas when you play The Binding of Isaac, even though there's another area after this, one that I have never stepped inside of before. Still though, there's me. Yes, that is certainly me. He looks like me, like a red version. Um, hello? You, sir, uh, uh Mimicking all of my moves, it seems. Uh, I wonder. Okay, he shoots the same. He does not have charged up tears. This is kind of creepy, actually. Are you my long lost brother? How do I kill you? I guess I could try to use a bomb, but wait, wait, wait. That's. That <laughs> oh, I'm so evil. So, that was a new enemy. And. And I just made him commit suicide. Should I feel bad now? Hell no! All these fucking things are out to get me. They won't receive any mercy whatsoever. But the guy was smiling. He smiled as I made him walk into... into the spikes. Nah, must not show emotions. He was just a robot. A robot to... Uh, program to behave like me. Bloody sirens. I knew that we would see each other again one day. Well, now is the time. The time to die, that is. <laughs> so the last time we faced Mom's heart, it was, well, <clears throat> it was an epic battle, but not all that challenging. And this time, considering our strength, you know, chocolate, milk in combination with the Book of Bell Island, so much other crap, I'd say that we have a pretty good chance to destroy her once again. Which is of course amazing, after all, that is the main priority I have right now when it comes to playing this game. Mom's heart needs to be, I think, destroyed 8 or 10 times to receive all endings. Once that is accomplished, we can head into the final floor. It's interesting though, I mean, this game is about to receive an expansion, 
an expansion is currently being developed by Hello Larry, currently being developed by Edmund McMillan, one that will once again <coughs> add new areas, tons of new items, new bosses, new enemies, new everything to this game. <laughs> and here I am still pondering about when I will ever head into the final floor, the current final floor. But that's what happens when you're a slow player, man. The thing is, this is a game I only want to... I am gonna grab that, definitely. Bring on them enemies, I don't care about the resistance of the womb. This is a fucking passive item that I wanted. Gimme, 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 is really worth it, yes. Book of Belial. Ooh! Void Rage and the Common Cold has appeared in the holy fuck basement. Larry Jr. accompanied by Chip. Are you all part of one and the same family? Well, yes, of course you are, you came up in Water's vagina, but still! You're all worms! No oh, wait, Larry is more like a snake, isn't he? Then again, Jesus Christ, am I really trying to determine what kind of species this fucking things belong to? Two monstros? I'm not a fan of that. Well, come to think of it, I have killed this guy so many times in the past. Bring it on! You could throw three at me, you could hell, you could throw fucking four monsters at me, I wouldn't care because I am indestructible. Fool. So here I am, just killed boss monsters to no end. Still going. Void Rage I think provides me with lots of speed. Wow, our stats are almost completely maxed out. Yes, I'd say that Judas has proven to be a very, very useful character. Or maybe I just had an extremely, extremely big period of luck. But I do not care. Oh, didn't mean to blow up that door. Wait, they blew up the door. Thank you, I guess that's a neat thing to know. Enemies can blow up doors for you if you don't have any. Or other crap as well. So, as I said already, I will not head into the final floor of this game. Not before I have at least defeated Mom's heart ten times. And I wonder, I am pretty sure that by the time I'll reach that floor, Edmund McMillan will already have released the DLC for The Binding of Isaac, the final piece of DLC, Revenge of the Lamb. Oh, two of these things, well, uh, I'm not impressed at all, you can just, you know, you, you can just die, what do I care about you guys, you're just pathetic little creatures just like Loki, just go die, I swear to god, kill yourselves, nobody likes you, nobody loves you, nobody wants you, you have no friends, no family, no nothing at all, you should never have been born, it was a mistake, god, that's so dark, ah! A champion version of me. Ooh, and this time they are being tricky. I can't just put them onto the spikes, it's gonna hurt me as well. Mm hmm, let's be. Uh, yeah, that's kind of working out. Okay, you know what? So evil. <laughs> In any case, um, what's the name of that worm boss creature? That woo. Careful, not the eye laser. Ah! Don't you dare, don't you dare. Ah! There we go. Um, what was his name? Like the red worm boss down here in the womb. Ooh. What do you know? A mushroom inside the secret room. What does this one do though? One up. A one up. I I can't remember if I ever had this item before already, but a one up? And it looks like a Super Mario mushroom, you know, all green with the white dots, so. Will this thing keep me alive if I die? Who knows, who cares, I guess we'll find out, well, to be honest, I do not want to find out. If everything goes according to plan, we will never need to see the effect of that mushroom. Also, Larry, congratulations, you just hit me there. Well, to be honest, I ran into you, you bit me, thought you could accomplish something, but then the poison touch killed you. My apologies. I have forgotten the name, but it's some kind of red worm boss down here. Maybe there are others, but I guess we will find out in a second. Bring it on, boss of the womb part one. Uh, Skolex, that was the name. Holy shit. Death. <laughs> it's one of the horsemen. It's death, the most powerful of them all. And oh boy, he's summoning scythe blades just like the fucking Grim Reaper in Castlevania. That's so amusing. Ah! Okay, this is not going well. He needs to die. I have lots of attack power. He needs to die. Before he kills me. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Careful. Whoa, what the hell? He's a whoa, Jesus, he's abandoned his horse? Uh, oh dear. Yeah. What are you up to, sir? What's the meaning of this? Oh, Jesus, he's summoning Brainiacs! Die! I want to earn myself the privilege to be able to say that I slaughtered death! In fact, that's what I just did. Jesus Christ, I am meeting so many new bosses. 
on this playthrough, and I'm just blowing through them. First peep, well he wasn't new, but I still wanted to have my revenge. First peep, then Loki, um, the Fallen, now Death. All of these bosses, I'm sure they wanted to have such an epic, epic introduction, but I just slaughtered them. Well, I can feel proud of myself. I should feel proud of myself. I mean, I've earned the right to feel proud of myself. I'm in the womb part one. We are 50 minutes into this fucking episode. I'm about to kill mom's heart a second time. I am just indestructible and amazing. Wait, this is the womb part two. Ladies and gentlemen, do not step onto the creep. Ladies and gentlemen, I can promise you all that the next episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac will be more professional. Whoa. Watch out for the diglets. Much more professional than this one. It's just I haven't played this game in like months. Like four to five months. Therefore I've forgotten everything. Therefore I cannot be informative whatsoever. But next time I will make sure to give you guys a little bit of, you know, intel. So to speak, intel about this game. Because, you know, certain people like it, certain people get off to it. Other people are like, we don't want information. Then again, people are like, Jesus Christ, dude, can't you just be a little bit more informative than? There was that one guy recently who posted a comment on my Cry of Fear Let's Play. And he was like, dude, can you next time please talk a little bit less and just play? I, I, I really love it when people say that. Just play the game. What kind of fucking idiot are you? And I'm saying that to the guy saying, don't... Uh, Ugh, no, now I'm derailing myself again. Seriously though, just play. It's a let's play, sure, of course you're meant to play the game, but I am not playing this to help people. I'm not playing all of these games to, you know, provide a walkthrough, to provide information at all. Sure, I want to be a little bit informative, but uh, at the end of the day, it's just a let's play. An attempt of me trying to entertain people and to immerse them in a good story. So why the fuck would I want to play fast? Why the fuck would I need to rush? There is no reason whatsoever. If you want to see somebody who plays fast and still is very informative, head over to the Something Awful. To the Something Awful website, because those guys are what you are looking for. With me, you will not find professional... I don't know, professional commentary. With me, you will only find pure randomness. If you want to see a walkthrough of Let's Play Cry Fear, a walkthrough of Let's Play Cry Fear, then if you want to see a professional speed run of Cry of Fear, then go find one. What is so hard to understand about Let's Play? Of course, the name Let's Play has a different kind of meaning everywhere. I mean, originally, Let's Playing was just invented to be informative while playing a game at a normal pace, not just to stand about and talk like I do all the time. But hey, the name basically evolved. To let's play does not just mean to be fast and professional. To let's play means nowadays to just play a game for entertainment. Of course, not everyone will like it, that's obvious, but I just let's play games to entertain people. I appreciate those people in my comments who enjoy my videos, and that's about all. And I'm completely digressing here, completely sidetracking. That has nothing to do with let's play The Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Oh my, my commentary is so all over the place today. It's such a delight. I feel like I feel like back when I still let's play that I wanna be the fan game. Where I don't know what to talk about whatsoever. You all of you just die. I need to vent my anger right now. All of you just fucking die. I do not care. I do not want to spend my money, I just want to see blood flow. I want to see machine parts fly about. Are you betraying me, Slot Machine? Are you fucking betraying me? I swear you're betraying me. I don't care about your bloody pill. I will blow you up. You cannot negotiate this. I will destroy you. I will splatter your parts all across the walls. It's gonna happen, I'm telling you. You cannot escape from your fate. Enjoy the money, you dirty whore. Enjoy the money I make you swallow. Yes, you will swallow the fucking money and enjoy it. And in the end, I am going to kill you. Yes, I am going to kill you and there's no way around it. Uh, which pill? What does this one do? Oh god, this is not a good idea. This is not a good idea at all. Ooh, full health. Well, that was a waste. You betrayed me, slot machine! Told you you'd die. Okay, getting back on fucking track. We are about to face mom after taking care of these two gluttonies here. You guys, really? I've came to- You just hit me. You stole my health. You stole my health! Do you know who I am? That's getting old. In any case, as I was saying before, I got completely sidetracked, ladies and gentlemen. 
Next time on Let's Build the Binding of Isaac, I will try to be very, very informative. This time, though, it's just a random playthrough of me trying to speak out random gibberish loud. Seriously, half the time I'm not even saying amateurish English, it's just like... Well, there's no reason to examine any other rooms down here, is there? Nope, let us fight Mom's heart for the second time and receive a new ending. Bring it on! Judas has come for your fucking blood, mother! Die! I am all powered and charged up, I have the chocolate milk, I have the Book of Belial, there we go. Power of Belial, fuel my rage! I have so many bombs, I have so many syringes and upgrades. You cannot stop me, mother. Don't even try. It won't work. Look, a quarter of your health is already gone. Yes, summon these vaginal silkworms. I don't care about it at all. In fact, I think to calm my crazy mind down a little, I will just shut up for now until she dies. Yes, indeed, enjoy the rest of this semi, semi epic battle. Onward! It's over, mother! Die! And we are done, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. We have defeated Mom for the second time. Mom's heart down. And our reward, a new big chest with a new item and a new ending. There's, of course, the room leading down into the final floor. You can reach it via Satan. But I'm not interested in that. Nope, not at all. I just want to receive all the endings for now. Therefore, let us... Go for it, I... I say... yeah. What do we have this time? An happy item? An happy Isaac? An happy? Really? An hero? What the hell? That is... Um... Ooh. That's dark. So we destroyed our mom! Only to hang ourselves as the result. Really, Isaac? I just couldn't live with feeding my mom. The feeding her made me kill myself. Well, in fact, it wasn't Isaac who died, really. It was Judas, but still. Oh, this game. This game makes so much sense at times. Isaac just committed suicide. Hanged himself. How? Where did he, like, uh... I'm not even gonna ask. Oh, damn it, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> This episode, it was so very, very amateurish. I mean, the playthrough wasn't bad, but my commentary, Jesus Christ, all over the place. So all over the place. I promise I shall deliver something that is a little bit more productive and informative next time, one and all. It's just because I haven't played this game in such a long time and because my day up to this point was very, very stressful. In any case, we've unlocked a Robo Baby and a noose. Lots of new items. But I don't even feel like checking them out right now. I'm I'm so depressed. I'm gonna hang myself as well because this episode was terrible. YouTube killed me. I couldn't entertain my audience. Therefore, I must end it all. Such a pathetic life. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Shadow Cookie. Two mom kills. We have seen two epilogues. I hope that you enjoyed episode number ten of Let's Play the Binding of Isaac. Despite the horrible commentary, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you didn't. I don't blame you, <laughs> but I promise that the next episode will be a lot more professional in terms of commentary. I mean, it can only get better, right? Right? Oh, Jesus, this was a bad episode. Ah. P.S. Here's a little bit of added extra audio track. I'm just making things up. I was satisfied with that episode. The commentary might have been all over the place. Nevertheless, though, I enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. Last but not least, could somebody count how often I freaking said, in any case? Seriously, I said that it is my <laughs> most favorite phrase of all time, but this episode took it to a whole new level. In any case, in any case, in any case, in any fucking case! <sighs> I have a terrible habit. I need to stop. I need to stop drinking. I just need to stop taking these pills. I need to... <clears throat> I need to just shut up for one second and let you guys leave. <laughs> Have a good one, one and all. I shall see you all next time.